Ian, my second award um, goes to a student that unfortunately wasn't able to be here tonight, but I still want to talk to her and give credit where credit is due. Um, so the next award is called the Trabajador Magnifico Award, which is the Magnificent Worker. And this is a student who, even though Spanish doesn't come as easily to her as others, she never ever gave up and she never let it stop her, never let it um, make her not want to take Spanish anymore. So that award is going to go to Miss Morgan Ludwig when she... <laughs> Wonderful, magnificent Miss Bazo to present. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, you guys are going to get sick of me. I'm going to be up here for a while. Right? <laughs> so just hang in there. So, um, unlike Miss Murphy and Miss Nemeth, I've been here since the very first day. So it's really exciting, overwhelming. I'm so proud to be here. Um, I'm not going to cry. So I'm not going to. Um, first, I would like to recognize our Youth Advisory Council. Um, so if Morgan Simmons and Kaylee Brace would please come up here. Um, Morgan Ludwig is also a part of it. I put this in my pocket because I'm a baby. I already know. <laughs> so when we first started the school, I heard about the Youth Advisory Council. And I just thought, you know what? We have to be a part of it. We have to represent CHA in this advisory. I don't know what it is, but we have to do it, just because we have to be there. And I went to them as eighth graders, and I said to the whole class, somebody has to do this with me. And three of them stepped up and said, okay, what is it? I don't know. <laughs> but let's do it, and, and let's represent CHA. And what we found out in doing it is that it's a community service program, and we were able to do food drives at CHA. We worked really hard to get it here because we wanted to be recognized. Every single meeting, when people would come and talk to us, they would never say CHA. And my girls right here would raise their hand every time and say, you forgot someone. It's Charleston Neston Academy. So I just appreciate them for sticking out with me. I know that whew, sometimes it wasn't always fun. We gave up Saturdays. We sat through long meetings. They acted like young adults at all times. But I will never, ever forget our car rides, because <laughs> that was always the most fun. Our snacks afterwards. and just. Thank you for trusting me and doing something new. I really appreciate you guys. <laughs> Thanks, Nathaniel. You're really going to help me hold it together. So keep it up. I appreciate it. Make me laugh. Um, OK, next, I would like to also take a second and recognize our National Honor Society. So <laughs> our National Honor Society is a small group. Um, we're a small school, but they're very mighty. They have done so many community service projects. Each one of them has earned over 80 hours of community service. Um, go ahead and clap for that. <laughs> members are known throughout this community, they're known throughout the school, they're known for their good grades, of course, but also their leadership, their character. These are really, really great young adults. And I know that when I send them off into the world on June 3rd, they're going to continue to help whatever community they live in, keep doing big things, and they're just really going to change the world. I can't wait to see what they do. So I'm going to call them all up. Um, first is Carly Green. Just a second. 
um, because I really want to recognize them um, for really just embarking on every single crazy thing that I get them to. Um, it sometimes is going over to the We Care and painting there. Sometimes it's throwing an event here, um, helping out the PTO. Um, sometimes it's just staying in my room, helping me clean up and keeping me sane, and that's a big job. Um, and they're, they're just really, really great kids. And I don't know what I'm going to do without you. I don't even want to think about it. So I'm not going to. Like I said, I'm not going to cry. But thank you so much for just being wonderful and doing every crazy thing that I throw at you. You never second guess it. You always have a good time. Your enthusiasm keeps me enthusiastic, happy, and going. And I just love you guys so much. So thank you for being a part of my world. picture two. So I have two students that are not part of the National Honor Society, but they have stepped up with community service, with character, with leadership, and we have called them our honorary National Honor Society members, and I would like to recognize them too. So would Felicity Kimball and Haley Cooper please come up for a <laughs> for trusting us, for trusting me, because most of them were not happy to be here the first day. Um, and that was really hard for me, but as we got to know each other and work together, um, I know that I fell in love with them, and they, I think they fell in love with me, but I maybe just tell myself that. But we've been through a lot together over these five years. I've had the privilege to be their teacher from eighth grade all the way through their senior year to follow them. They, I always tell them, you can't get rid of me. Um, <laughs> they, they've really never tried though either. They're great. I've been honored to be their original advisor. Um, their sophomore year we added Miss Johnson and she's part of our family too. So I'd like her to come up here with me so we can give our kids their award. Um, <laughs> our original Patriot Award to Alexis Chapman. Morgan Simmons. Nathaniel DeSnyder. They're not always like this, I swear. Carly Green. Morgan Ludwig, who couldn't be here. Yeah, Morgan! Jordan Ludwig, who couldn't be here. Yeah, Jordan! Julia Valamente. Woo! Oh, Julia! Kaylee Brace. Yeah, Kaylee! Bianca Mir. Yeah! And, and uh, Brandon Perryman. Yeah, Brandon! Okay, now this last original Patriot, he tried to leave me for a second. He really did. But he had to come back, and he wasn't gone long enough for it to actually count, I told him. So he is an original Patriot, Jacob Tapia. Like I said, I'm not crying. I love you guys so much. Thank you for trusting me. Thank you, parents, for choosing CHA. They have me teaching fun, exciting. Sometimes they drive me crazy, but it's been wonderful. So really, thank you guys, and you're going to do wonderful things. Just make sure, no matter where you go, you remember where home is, and you come back and visit us. And if you get it, I'm not. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm so annoying. We're not getting our seats back. Okay. 
Yeah, oh, I'm still going. <laughs> still going. I'm almost done. For this round, I'll be back later, so sorry. <laughs> Okay, so on top of all that stuff, I actually do teach history in this school. Um, so I would like to give some awards um, there as well. So my first set of awards are excellence in historical studies. So I teach US history. For this class, I taught world history. Um, I teach American government and then economics. So most of the seniors don't have me this year except for senior seminar. But when I'm thinking back on my history classes, there were two students that came to mind that were always participating. They loved talking to me about the news. They never complained about projects or assignments. And they still, to this day, come back and, you know, what are you doing in this class? What are you doing? They visit all the time. And I just really appreciate it. So I would like to recognize Alexis Chapman and Nathaniel DeSite. <laughs> Hot in the sweatshirt. You're making a lot of laughs. I know. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah! Good job. Five. Oh! Woo! They make teaching fun. <laughs> so, my last award for this round um, <laughs> is the Perseverance Award. So, this is going to be the one that gets me. I can do it. Thank you. So, this award is going to a student that almost quit. She almost dropped out. And she pulled it together, and she came back, and she came back with a vengeance, and she will be graduating, one of the first people in her family to graduate from high school. I am so proud of her. I can't even tell you guys, Kelsey Young. because there's a million of them because so many of you participated, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> it's only you that does that, too. I know, it's because I'm a lot of those. I told you I didn't want to use this. <laughs> okay, so I um, teach English, if you didn't know that. And English is a unique subject because I don't teach facts and I don't teach, like, equations. I teach them an idea. And then what I grade them on is their ability to understand the idea and apply it. And so it gets really complicated and it's confusing. And sometimes I have a hard time like explaining to people exactly what I do. So um, to do this in the true literary fashion, I have given the kids awards based on the character that I feel that they most I don't know the word. Embody. Embody. Thank you. So, <laughs> thanks. So, I, um, I grade kids a lot on their, not kids, students, young adults, on their ability to reflect, their ability to grow as writers because, I mean, they wrote persuasive papers as freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors, and I just, I need to see growth, and I need to see reflection. So that's what I'm looking for. So I picked people that I felt were very, uh, they made a lot of progress and they were very reflective on, on the progress that they made. So I want to start with the Odysseus Award. So the Odysseus Award goes to someone who is just absolutely determined and courageous. He really faced some setbacks his first year, his freshman year here. Um, I, I mean, I've been with him for all four years and I just watched him grow as a writer, but he's also that writer that comes back and checks everything and looks at everything. He actually revises and not revises. And uh, he has become a truly brilliant academic. And he's, he was voted, voted smartest by his peers because of that. So I would like to give the Odysseus Award to Daniel Ferguson. <laughs> And 
And now Odysseus also has like a side of kind of being a little bit of a baby, but you don't have that side. You have the brave side. Okay. There you are. I'm a shaker, so. Oh, we can shake together. Okay. You don't want to wait. Okay. The next one is the Jay Gatsby Award. Now, Jay Gatsby, like any character, they have their good sides and their bad sides. I'm obviously focusing on all of the good. So Jay Gatsby had a mission he wanted to accomplish, and he was not stopping until he accomplished that. And those of you that have read the book, you know how it ends. And he obviously, dies. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Spoiler alert: he dies because he can't achieve it. And there is a girl that um, started with me as a ninth grader, and I feel like she has shown the most growth here as a student. Um, she makes me so proud, she's so determined, and it's gonna take her far in life. Anything she puts her mind to, she's going to achieve it. Um, she also can throw a mean junior prom. So I need Miss Maddie Otten to get up here. Okay, so the two first ones I did are the main characters of the book, so they're kind of a little bit easier to follow if you haven't totally read them. This one's a little deeper, so I'm going to explain. So in The Raisin of the Sun, uh, the main two characters are Ruth and Walter, and they're trying to achieve these huge dreams. And Mama is Walter's mom, and she encourages them through everything that they want to do, even if it's not realistic. So I was thinking about this student, and she is always in everyone's corner. She's so sweet. She's so caring. She has the biggest heart in this room. And I just, I want her to continue to, you know, bring up and to push people like Walter and Ruth to continue to achieve great things. So Felicity Kimball, you got the Mama Award. <laughs> about her and say the whole thing even though she's not here because I was passionate about this one. So this one is the Holden Caulfield Award and it goes to Courtney Wright. Um, the reason, and those of you that have read, have read Catcher in the Rye, you're probably wondering what this award, award could be about. So, <laughs> so uh, when we were doing the senior exit projects, there was one student that like was like leaps and bounds set herself apart from everyone, and that was Courtney Wright. She came in and basically said, you know, I don't know what my life's going to be after this, but I know I'm smart and I know I'm going to accomplish things, and I'm not going to do it by anyone else's, you know, playbook. And so I felt that this was very fitting for her because Holden Caulfield really truly believes that no one should be phony. And his whole mission in the story is like, don't be phony. And he hated people pushing adulthood on him. And I felt like Courtney really embodies that whole idea of like, I will get there when I'm ready, don't push it on me. So this Holden Caulfield Award goes to Courtney Wright. Okay, the next one, um, I'm not even gonna say the name of because it will make it too obvious. So there was a character you read about in your freshman year who was just like spunky. She was in trouble all the time. She loved her books. She wasn't allowed to read for a solid section of the book. So she like came for everyone and fought back. Um, she is intelligent. She is curious. She is kind. She loves the world and everything that's in it. And that is Jean Louise Chapman. <laughs> My little Jean Louise. <laughs> All right. Okay, I have two more before Lit Mag. Okay, the next one 
is the William Shakespeare Award, okay? This is for someone who truly loves drama and loves theater, and I have handed them so many Shakespeare plays. They were written like the 15 and 1600s, and they love them, or pretend to, okay? They might pretend to. Um, but this person managed to find Mercutio's hilarity, Mark Antony's leadership skills, and Hamlet's temperament. Mr. Brandon Perryman. <laughs> The Hamlet part? That's fine. But only you and I get it. Get <laughs> 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 the last one was. Post the one where my eyes are rolled. Woo! Okay. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. the last one. Um, I think that this student, um, so I said Maddie Otten was the most changed female in my classroom. I would say that this is the most changed male. So, this student showed up on his very first day and was here for like an hour and then decided to break out in hives and go home. Um, then he shows back up and he is in my English class and telling me I'm not gonna read, I'm not gonna write, I wanna do it the way my old district did it. So I took the things that his old district did and I let them do it, like you can do it, I don't care. And so we mixed their way with my way and it really worked for him. And this little bunny who said, I will never care about literature, um, when we read the ending of, of Mice and Men, I was waiting for Nathaniel to spoil it for everyone. He died! <laughs> he died. Somebody died again. Somebody died again. <laughs> um, Anthony sat in my chair and faced the back window and sobbed for the whole rest of the day. <laughs> for the whole rest of the day. And this is the kid that tells me he's never going to love reading and he's never going to care about a book. A book made you cry, Anthony. So you get the Lenny Award. <laughs> you can't kill any puppies. No killing puppies. Hold that really tight. All right, so those are the English awards. Now I have the Historium Awards. So. I guess switching gears. Um, the Literary Magazine is something that I kind of thought of the very first year over Christmas break because what does a new teacher do over Christmas break? Work the whole time. So I called my friend Scott Marshall and I was like, hey, is this like a thing that could actually happen? Because I never have done anything like this and he told me it could, so I did it. And when I showed up to school to talk to the kids about it, um, I had a lot of interest the first year and just you know, as things naturally happen, I felt like it had pittered out across the years that I'd been doing this because we've been doing it for four years. But then when I started to calculate who participated and how many years they participated for, of the 29, 30, 29 kids graduating, everyone but 10 have participated. So 19 of the 29 are about to come up and receive an award for the literary magazine. And that's crazy because this is a bunch of kids who did this in their free time and, and submitted it with the hope that something would happen. And of the 19, 16 of them went to literary camp. So only, th only three hadn't quite earned that yet. But of 16 of 29 kids got to go to camp for free because of their writing abilities. And so that's really special. So I'm gonna, I don't know how you wanna do this, Marshall. Call them up, like do the first group and then the second group, like that. Okay, so the first group of kids that I'm gonna call up here are the kids that participated for one year, okay? One year of achievement. So we have, I'm gonna call all of you at the same time. So we have Manny Otten, Brogan Harger, yeah. Felicity Kimball, John Lane Jr., John Lane Jr. Tyler Silva, and that's it, get up here. Felicity, John Lane, and Tyler. Tyler! All right. Hi, guys. <laughs> Yay. And all that count, two of them went to camp. So then, 
for the two years of achievement for Historium. We have Haley Cooper, Daniel Ferguson, Jordan Ludwig, Brandon Perryman, and Courtney Wright. Um, all three of these weirdos have been to camp. <laughs> I pulled her hair. All right, our three years of achievement. So these are these students are in three of the four books. I have Carly Green, Amanda Hart, Anthony Peters, Amanda Sanchez, Marissa Zarad. And all of them have been to camp as well. participated in all four of the books, okay? Um, they also have worked on the team of editors all of the four years. They were the kids that were like, yeah, let's do this, let's do this. Sometimes even when I wasn't wanting to do it. And those are Kaylee Brace, Alexis Chapman, Morgan Ludwig, and Morgan Simmons. Scott Marshall, most of you know me as the owner of VIP Marketing, and I'm also the producer and the enrichment coach for Patriot Times. Uh, the Patriot Times began with a print newspaper, I'm sure many of you remember it, and this year uh, we evolved into a video broadcast. Uh, Patriot Times newspaper was kind of turning into more like a homework assignment, and it wasn't getting done on time, and my printer wasn't happy about it, so we went to video, and we recruited six kids, and they agreed to volunteer their time. The students received no grade for it. They received no compensation. There's no reward besides the experience uh, to get out and interview their peers and community members and members of the staff. Now, those six students I'm regretful that I will lose one of them as she is graduating and moving out with her life's endeavors. This student has excelled in her growth since she began with the Patriot Times newspaper in the eighth grade. And though she was reluctant to stand in front of a video camera, she pre proved to be a natural talent. Um, especially when she traveled to Lansing with us on National Charter School Day, she completed multiple interviews, including an interview with the president of the Michigan Association of Public School Academies, Dan Quisenberry, and her own state representative, Dear Rendon. The result of the video was a 27-minute newscast. So today I'd like to present Brianna Timmons, okay, Brianna yeah. Timmons with this Broadcast Excellence Award. Yeah. Well, Brianna, you're leaving us some big shoes to fill. I appreciate your dedication and enthusiasm. And in your own wise words, you are awesome. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck in your endeavors. And I thank you for what you did for me in the Patriot Times. And I do have one additional token here. Uh, because you did interview Mrs. Dare Rendon, our state representative, she was very impressed by you. And I have here a photo from her with a special note from her and her signature. <laughs> This 
Mr. Strollo knows, so I'm going to go ahead and read it. It says, Brianna, I wanted to add my congratulations to you on receiving this award for excellence in broadcasting. Your confidence in conducting an interview and in formulating good questions was obvious when I met you in Lansing. You impressed me as a young lady who would be successful in whatever career path you choose because you seek answers. Always remember to seek answers no matter where that path takes you, and don't be afraid to make the changes those answers demand. May God bless you with the courage and determination in your chosen career, dear Randy. and also the, the patches that go along with it uh, will be in your folder. And if we've made any mistakes or errors, please let us know afterwards, but we're trying to think back the best we can, okay? All right, Maddie Otten, uh, basketball, 11th grade year, varsity letter. Yeah, Maddie! <laughs> Kaylee Grace, NHS. Julio Battlemente, varsity letter and cheer, basketball, and ladies chess. <laughs> Lexi Chapman, varsity letter, basketball, junior year, and ladies chess. <laughs> Kaylee Cooper, varsity letter in basketball and cheer. Daniel DeSnyder, varsity letter basketball, yeah. football, and bowling. Good. You'll feel better. Dan Ferguson, varsity letter football. Woo! Oh. Oh, guys! Woo! Oh. So hot. Carly Green, varsity letter uh, cheer and NHS. Woo! Oh. Logan Harder, varsity letter football. Amanda Hart, varsity letter bowling in NHS. Felicity Kimball, varsity letter basketball and cheer. Yeah. I'll go down here. No problem. Jordan Ludwig is now. We're more than one. Brandon Perryman, varsity letter, bowling and basketball. Woo! And Peters, varsity letter, football yeah. and basketball. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Rouse, varsity letter, basketball. Yeah. 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 DJ Silva, varsity letter, football, basketball, and NHS. Yeah. Yeah. Tyler Silva, varsity letter football and basketball. Yeah, Tyler! Yeah. Simmons, varsity letter basketball, NHS, and squares. Morgan yeah. Smith, varsity letter football. Yeah, Morgan Smith! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Morgan! Woo, I'm high! Jake Tampio, oh, varsity letter yeah. football and basketball. Yeah. Three Simmons, varsity letter, basketball, yeah, and cheer. Marissa Surratt, varsity letter, bowling. Yeah, Marissa! Marissa! 
and John Lee, Mercy Little Boy. Yeah, All right, one more round of applause for our uh, student athletes. scholarships to the top six of the GPAs for the graduating class of CHA. First, I'd like to say <coughs> congratulations. <laughs> Out of everything we've done, every dance, every fundraiser, every fill the bus, every, this is probably the biggest honor we will ever have for the first graduating class. So, here we go. The very first scholarship we'd like to announce goes to Morgan Simmons. <laughs> Jordan Ludwig, who's next. The next scholarship, Kaylee Brace. Carly Green. went to Morgan Ludwig, who is not here. I just like to say thank you for all the support, all the 25 cent bags of popcorn, all the sharing of our events. You guys did this. So next year, hopefully we can present another $3,000 with the scholarship. from their prospective colleges, and I would like to present them with them. So the first award is an achievement award. Um, it is a $15,000 award over four years, so the total is $60,000. It, yeah, it came to us from Alma College to Brogan Harvard. He's like, what is that? I saw my name, so I have to cover it all. <laughs> comes from Northern Michigan University. This is the Wildcat Achievement Scholarship Level 2, which is a $2,000 scholarship every year, and that is awarded to Alexis Chapman. University. Um, this recipient won two scholarships. Um, the first is the K. Munson Scholarship. Um, only 140 students are awarded this scholarship. It's $1,000 per year for four years, 
And then the second is the Wildcat Achievement Scholarship Level 2, which is the $2,000 scholarship. And that was awarded to Kaylee Briggs. <laughs> of awarding the Lake Association scholarships. Um, we base those on community service. And that's one of the pillars that's so important to me, that we get kids out in the community, that they're doing service for others. Um, and this was really hard to give out because as a combined total, this graduating class has over a thousand hours of community service. Um, and logging their hours and just really getting out there, doing stuff on their own, not just doing the stuff that you know they do through me, through NHS, through Youth Advisory Council, through just me asking them, but them going out and doing it on their own. Um, our first award I'm gonna give to is the person that has the most community service hours of the senior class. Um, she is involved in almost everything and she also loves animals and works at the ARC on the weekends and gives up her time. She has well over 100 hours of community service by herself, Miss Kaylee Briggs. <laughs> Um, same thing, um, all of our recipients have over 100 hours of community service. Um, the next award for $500 towards tuition or books is going to Morgan Simmons. <laughs> now next, this student is very active in her church. Um, also, she always steps up. She has to drive in from West Branch, so you know I appreciate her parents for always getting her here to do the things I sign up for, making her active not only in the St. Helen community but in her own community that she calls home, Amanda Hart. <laughs> recipient is Morgan Ludwig and she couldn't be here tonight um, she is very charitable she gives back to the community she's always getting involved um, you know so along with these three ladies she steps up above and beyond has over a hundred community service hours so I would like to just you know give Morgan her props tonight as well <laughs> event for this evening. Thank you uh, everybody for coming. Please remember um, June 3rd, 1 o'clock, right here we're having graduation. It is fully catered so please um, please don't eat this, this that afternoon. We believe the event will start, <clears throat> well it's going to start at 1, we believe we'll start to eat around 2 o'clock and probably wind up around 3, 3.30, um, give or take because uh, this went about 40 minutes longer than I thought. So. <laughs> Thanks again and um, Again, we have one last song to, to uh, for our departure here. Have a great evening. <laughs>